and welcome to Eureka Math. This is Module 2, Lesson 26, and our objective today is to divide decimal dividends by two-digit divisors, estimating quotients, reasoning about the placement of de decimal point, and making connections to a written method. So this is really three things in one. First of all, we're going to do some division. Uh, we might do some estimating, and then reasoning means we have to think about where that decimal point goes. Okay. So let's go to our problem set, write your name on the paper. And number one, 156 divided by 24 and 102 divided by 15 both have a quotient of 6 and a remainder of 12. So let's prove that first, okay? It's, a, it's asking, are the division expressions equivalent to each other? So let's see, 156 divided by 24. Well, let's see, in my mind I'm going to round this up to 25 because 25 would go into 150 six times. So let's try that. So 6 times 4 is 24, carry the 2. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 2 is 14. And I have 12 left over, which is remainder 12, okay? And the other one is 102 divided by 15. So 15 would go into 96 times and 105 seven times. So it's not going to go seven times. So let's try that. 30, 6, 79, remainder 12. Okay. Now, it's asking, are the division expressions equivalent to each other? They have the same answer, but what do you know about remainders? Remainders are actually using different units. So what would happen if we did these same problems, but instead of leaving the remainder, we found a decimal, okay? So 6 is 144, but then I have 12 left, and I'm going to put a decimal and a zero. Then I'm going to bring it down. And 26 into 120 would go four times. Four times six is 24. Carry the two. Four times two is eight, plus two is 10. Okay, and that gives me 16. Now I'm going to bring down a hundredth. See, so that would be seven times, maybe, seven. Seven times six is 42, carry the four. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, oh, wait a minute. That's too much. Let's go back to six. Okay, six. 6 times 26 is 144, we already know that. And we have 6 and 2, wait a minute. There we go. 16 left over, not 100. Okay, and then what do I have? I have another 160, so it's, at this point, I'm only going to go to the 1,000th spot, and then I'm going to stop, okay? So 26 and 160, we know, goes 6 times. 6 times 26 is going to be 144, which is going to give me a leftover 160. So I could just keep adding zeros, and guess what? It's going to be 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6. So there's that one with the decimal. Now what would happen if I do this one with the decimal? 15. I know it goes in there 6 times, so six, that's 90. And then my leftover is 120. And I know that the 15 will go into 120, let's see, 15 would go into 96 times, so 105 is 7 times, 128 times. Okay. So 8 times 15 is 40. Is 
Okay, so when we look at the decimal here, this turns out to be 6.46666, and this turns out to be 6.8, okay? Those are very different numbers, aren't they? They don't work out the same. Is this right? Is, did I do this answer right? 24, 2, 12, 13, 14, yes. 120, four times, yeah. Okay, yes. So, use your knowledge of decimal division to justify your answer. Are the division expressions equivalent to each other? No, they're not. And then here we can see because this is 6 root meter 12 and this is 6 root meter 12, but this in decimal form is 6 and 466 repeating, it goes forever, repeating. Um, and this one is 6 and 8 tenths, okay? So this one in fact is bigger than the other one. This quotient, 6 point, is bigger than this quotient. Construct your own division problem with a two-digit divisor that has a quotient of 6 and a remainder of 12, but is not equivalent to the problems in 1A. Okay, let's see. So we need something that turns out to be 6 remainder 12. That's what we're looking for. And basically, we need to find a dividend and divide it by a quotient. Okay and see what we get. So in order to do that, we're gonna to have to do our math backwards. So let's take any number bigger than 12. How about 13? 13 times six is 18, six is 78 plus 12 equals 90. So if I have 90 divided by 13, I will get 6 for meter 12, and I can check that work, which is the opposite of this multiplication work. Let me change colors again. 90 divided by 13 is 6. That's 8, carry the 1, 7. And that's going to give me a, left, a remainder of 12. Okay, remainder 12. So 6 for meter 12, it's another one, but it's not the same either. Let's check and see what it would be if we did it as a decimal. 90 divided by 13 would be 6, 78, but now if I add the tenth space, I've had 12, 0, 90 would go into 120 or 120 tenths one time. Oops. 1 times 90 is 90, and that's going to leave me with 30. If I added a hundredth space, uh, wait a minute. Oh, I did something wrong there. I'm sorry. I was looking at this 90, and I should have been looking at that 13. All right, 13 will go into 120 how many times? Um, seven? What do we have? A 12? Seven times? Let's try seven. I made a mistake earlier. Okay, seven times three is 21. Carry the two. Seven, eight, nine. Which would be nine, two... Point nine. Nope, we can do one more. Let's do a eight. Eight times three is twenty-four. Carry the two. Eight, nine, ten. And that leaves me with oh, sixteen, still bigger than that. So let's do nine. Nine times 13 is 27, carry the two, nine, 10, 11, which leaves me with three. If I bring down another zero, 13 goes into three twice, two times is 26, and then I have four. And I can go down into the thousandths too. I, I'm not gonna keep, I'm not gonna go beyond that. 
but uh, 3, which would be 39, and 10, so 0, okay? That number could keep going. But 6.9, this problem is actually bigger than this problem, right? So, number 2. All right, let's move on. Divide, then check your worth, work with multiplication. Okay, so 13 goes into three zero times. 36 twice, two times three is six, two times two is two. And now I have 10, so I'm gonna bring down the 10th spot. So 13 goes into 101 tenths. Um, what do we say, eight times? Mm, seven times, seven. Seven times three is 21, carry the two, seven, eight, nine. Now I have one left over, but I'm gonna bring down the four hundredths. So I have 104 hundredths, which would be eight times. Okay, eight times three is 24, carry the two, eight, nine, 10. And there's the zero that I was looking for, right? So two and 78 hundredths. How do I check my work? How do I check my work? Well, I'm going to multiply. I'm going to multiply my dividend times my divisor, and it should equal my, um, I'm sorry, my quotient times my divisor, and it should equal my dividend. So let's do that. 2 and 78 hundredths times 13. 3 times 8 is 24, carry the 2. 3 times 1 is 21, plus 2 is 23, carry the 2. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8. Then bring down the 0. 1 times 8 is 8, 1 times 7 is 7, 1 times 2 is 2. And 8, 9, 10, 11, carry the 1 is 16, carry the 1 is 3. Now, where does the decimal go? There are two decimal spaces here. And in my mind, I multiplied that by 100. So down here, I need to divide by 100, which is going to give me 36, 14. Is that the same answer? Yes, it is right here. Okay, next one, 62 and 79 hundredths divided by 23. Okay, 23 times two would be 46. 23 times 3 would be 69, which is too big. So let's go times 2. And then we subtract. 12 minus 6 is 6. 5 minus 4 is 1. Bring down that 7th. Okay. Now, 23 into 167. Mm. 20 would go into 168 times, but it's actually a little bit bigger than that, so let's guess 7. 7 times 3 is 21, carry the 2. 7 times 2 is 14, plus 2 is 15, 16. And then subtract, I have 6 tenths left, bring down the 9. Look at that, 23 times 3 is 69, so 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 2 is 6. And there's my zero that I was looking for. Makes me happy. Right there, two and 73 hundredths. So now, in order to check my work, I'm going to multiply two and 73 hundredths times 23. And I should get 62 and 79 hundredths. So three times three is nine. Three times seven is 21, carry the two. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8, then drop the 0. 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 7 is 14, carry the 1. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. And 9, 7, 12, 6, there we go. And in my head, I multiplied this by 100, but in the order to find the answer, I have to divide by 100 again, which gives me 1. Two decimal spaces over, 62 and 79 hundredths. 62 and 79 hundredths, right there. Okay, letter C. 12 
21 hundredths divided by 11. Okay, 11 will go into 12 one time. 1 times 11 is 11. Then I have 2, and I'll bring down this 2. Oh, sorry. 2 minus 1 is 1. And 11 into 12 goes 1 time. 1 times 1 is 11. And subtract, and then I have Bring that one down, 11 left, 1. 1 times 11 is 11, and there's the 0. Okay, so 1 and 11 hundredths. Let's check our work by multiplying 1 and 11 hundredths times 11. And 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 1 is 1, drop the 0. 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 1 is 1. Then add 1, 2, 2, 1. Now, this had a decimal point in it, right? One, two spaces over. So I'm going to count one, two spaces over. There's my decimal, 12 and 21 hundredths. Great. Next, 6 and 89 hundredths divided by 13. 13 will not go into 6, but 13 will go into 68 tenths. So 68 tenths, let's see. Uh, 2 times 13 would be 26, 3 would be 39, 4 would be 52, 5 would be 65, I think. Let's try that. 5 times 3 is 15, carry the 1. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 1 is 6, yep. 5, 6, 7, 8 is 3. Bring down the 9, and 13 will go into 39 three times. Three times 13 is 9, 3, and there's my 0. So I have 53 hundredths. You can put the 0 if you want. It's fine. Let's multiply that to see if it works. And if we get the same dividend, 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 15, 5 is 15. Drop the 0, 3. 5 and 9, 5, 6, 7, 8, 6, and 1, 2 decimal spots, 2. There it is. E, how many of these are they going to give us here? Three pages, huh? Okay. Lots of practice. 249 and 6 tenths divided by 25. Well, 25 will go into 208 times, so 8 times 25 is 0, 4, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Then I have 19 left over, bring down my 6 tenths. 25 will go into 196 tenths 7 times. 7 times 5 is 35, carry the 3. 7 times 2 is 14, plus 3 is 15, 16, 17. And now I have 21. And because that doesn't fit, I'm going to add another 0 and bring the 0 down. 210, well, it's still not enough. So 8, 8 times 25 is 200. We know that. But now 1, 0. If I bring down one more 0, I have 125. We'll go into 100 four times. Okay, there's my zero. And my final answer is 8 and 784 thousandths. So now I have to multiply 784 thousandths times 25 to check my work. 5 times 4 is 20, so carry the 2. 5 times 8 is 40, plus 2 is 42, carry the 4. 5 times 7 is 35, plus 4 is 39, carry the 3. 5 times 8 is 40, plus 3 is 43. Okay, then the 2. 2 times eight, uh, 4 is 8. 2 times 8 is 16, carry the 1. 2 times 7 is 14, plus 1 is 15, carry the 1. 2 times 8 is 16, plus 1 is 17. And then add 8, 16, 1 is 6, 7, 8, 9, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 2. Wait a minute. Sorry, I added wrong. 16, carry the 1, is it 6, 7, 8, 9, that's 9, 
And then there we go. Okay, this number was wrong. Now, where does the decimal point? Well, I've got one, two, three spaces there, so I'm going to count from here. One, two, three spaces. And what do I get? 219 and 6 tenths, or 600 thousandths, depending on how you'd like to say that. But is it the same number? Yes, it is. We did have to add two zeros on it to find the answer, though. Okay, 24 and 96 hundredths divided by 52. 52 is not going to go in 249 five times. It might go in there four times. Four times two is eight, and four times five is 20. Then subtract, nine minus eight is one, four minus zero is four. Bring down the six, and let's see. 50 will go into 400 eight times, so let's try that. 8 times 2 is 16, carry the 1. 8 times 5 is 40, plus 1 is 41. And there's my 0. Okay. 48 hundredths. 48 hundredths times 52 to get my, to check my work. 2 times 8 is 16, carry the 1. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9. Drop the 0. 5 times 8 is 40, carry the 4. 5 times 4 is 20, plus 4 is 24. And 6, 9, 4, 2. Now I have one, two decimal spaces here, so one, two decimal spaces there. Are you seeing how all that multiplication practice and all that decimal practice, now we're doing division with decimals, how it all builds up together, doesn't it? Okay, I'm going to erase this so we can see it. You can always go back in the video if you need to remember what I wrote. 300 and 9 tenths divided by 59. So 59 is going to go into 300. Hmm, let's pretend it's 60, right? 60 would go into 36 six times, but 30 five times. So let's try that five times, right? Because in my head, I imagine that was 60. So 5 times 9 is 45, carry the 4. 5 times 5 is 25, plus 4 is 29. Now I have 5 left. I'm going to bring down that 9, and I have five and 59 tenths, really. And that'll be 1, one time. Okay, so there's my 0. 5 and 1 tenth. And I'm going to multiply that times 59 to see if I get my answer. 9 times 1 is 9. 9 times 5 is 45, drop to 0, 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 5 is 25, now I have 9, 10, carry the 1 is 10, carry the 1 is 3, and one decimal space over, so one decimal space there, and that is the same dividend. All right, look at these two, they're the same, do you see that? Do you see how they're the same number, just with the decimal in a different place? So in fact, I don't have to do so much work. I can put that 5 right there, because I already know it's 5. Right? Because that 5 right here, it's just moved over 1. And, um, I mean, we can go through all the work again, but we don't actually need to, because we just did it. It just means that the decimal's in another spot. Right? This one just means it's 51 hundredths instead of 5 and 1 tenth. So 51 hundredths times 59 is going to give us the same answer. 309, oops, 300, oh, I'm sorry, 3009, but then we have to put the decimal back in and it's going to work in one, two spaces over, so 30.9. This one actually didn't require all the extra work because it's the same digits. Do you see that? It's the same digits. Was it before too? Oh, it sure was, and I didn't notice, did I? <gasps> Why didn't you tell me through the video screen? Miss Luer, Miss Luer, it's the same digits. You don't have to do all the extra work. Number three, the weight of 72 identical marbles is 183 and 6 tenths grams. 
What is the weight of each marble? That is a division problem if I ever heard one. So, I am going to divide 183.6 by 72. So 72 is not going to go into 1. It's not going to go into 18. But it will go into 183, and it will go twice for sure, because 70 times 2 would be 140. So 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 7 is 14. And this turns into a 7, and that turns into a 9, 3. Now I have 39 remaining. I'm going to bring down the 6 tenths. And I think 7 would go into 35 five times. So let's try that. 7 times 2 is 10. Carry the 2. 7 times uh, 5 is 35, plus 2 is 36, 37. And I have the 6 here and the 2 there, and I'm going to bring down another 0. I'm going to add a hundredths place. And 72 into 260, well, 7 would go into 2, let's see, 21 3 times, and 28 4 times, but we don't quite have that, so let's do 3. And 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 7 is 21. Turn that into a 5. 4, 4. And bring down a thousandth place. Now we're getting into the big monies here, huh? 4, 3, 2. So definitely 4 times. 6 times? Let's try six. Six times 70 is 42. So six times two is 12. Carry the one. Six times two, seven is 42 plus one is 43. Now I have eight left. Oh my goodness. You wanna keep going? Seventy-two into eighty goes once. One times seventy-two. And then we just keep going. Eighty. It's just going to be 80, 80, 80. After that, it's going to be 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. What is the weight of each marble? Explain how you know the decimal point of your quotient is reasonably placed. Well, we know because it's right there. And we're not going to go further than the thousandths place, so we're going to say 2.536 grams. We're going to round to that thousands place and this is a one so six stays the same. Hmm. I must feel like looking up that one on a calculator, don't you? Just to make sure. I'm not going to though. I'm just gonna double check my work. Two times seven is fourteen. Carry the one is fourteen. Ah I made a mistake. I sure did make a mistake, didn't I? No, no, I didn't. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 7 is 14. Okay. And that would give me 9 and 3. 72. Okay. All right. I know it's reasonably placed because the we didn't move it. <laughs> Next one, four, Cameron wants to measure the length of his classroom using his foot as a length unit. So his foot's about this big. His teacher tells him the length of the classroom is 23 meters. Cameron steps across the room heel to toe and finds that it takes him 92 steps. How long is Cameron's foot in meters? So we're gonna take 23 meters divided by 92 steps. We're gonna to have to add a zero right away, I can tell. This 92 won't go into 23, but 92 will go into 230 tenths twice. So two times two is four, two times nine is 18, and then I get six, four here, drop another zero, Okay, 92 would go into 404 times. 
Do you think we can get it to fit in there five times? Let's try. Five times two is 10, carry the one. Five times nine is 45 plus one is 46. We sure can, good. All right, so 25.25 meters. Mm -hmm. All right. Number five, a blue rope is three times as long as a red rope. There's the red one. And the blue rope is three times as long. A green rope is five times as long as the blue rope. Oh my goodness, so we're going to need to do this plus this. Pretend it keeps going, plus this. Plus this. And one more. Uh oh, my cat's trying to make an appearance in the video today. Hello, everyone. This is Clyde. Clyde, you gotta get down, buddy. Say hi. Hi. Gotta go, though. Gotta go. Okay. So, and here is my green rope, but it's this whole thing, all right? Now, if the total length of the three ropes is 508.25 meters, what is the length of the blue rope? We want to know one, two, three. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to divide this number by all the little squares I just made. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay? And that's going to tell us what the red rope equals because it equals 1. So 19 goes into 50 twice with 12 left over. Bring down the 8. 19 will go into 28, five, six times. Six times nine is 54, carry the five. Six times one is uh, six, plus five is 11. I'm gonna run out of space very quickly here, four. And then I'm gonna bring down the two tenths, 142. So let's see. If I round it, I'm thinking of this as 20 in my head, right? So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40 would be 7 times. So 7 times 9 is 63, carry the 6. 7 times 1 is 7, plus 6 is 13. And then ooh, I'm, gonna, I'm still going to run out of space here pretty quickly. I'm gonna, that gives me 9, and bring down the 5. And that's going to be 20 into 100 would be 5 times, so let's see, 5. 5 times 9 is 45, carry the 4. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 4 is 9, and that gives us 0. Yay, we got to 0, good. So, red is 26 and 75 meters, okay? But the blue one, which is what they're asking about, is three times that. So let's take this number times three. 26, 75 times three. Oops. It's 15, one is 21, 22, carry the two. 21, 22, 23, carry the two. Six, seven, eight, and then that would equal 83 and 25. Now, if I want to check my work, I could multiply the green one times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and just check my work. So that would be, oh, shoot, I just put a 7 there, didn't I? That's probably not right then. It says 26 and 7 fifths. You guys have got to start warning me. Okay, let's try again. 15, carry the 1. 21 is 22, carry the 2. 18, 19, 20, carry the 2. 6, 7, 8, 80, and 25.
Okay, now I'm really going to check my work. I'm going to multiply that 80 and 25 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. This is 25, carry the 2 is 12, carry the 1 is 1 and 40, then 0 is 5, 2, 0, 8, then 5, 7, 3, 0, 12. Okay, which would make the green one worth 1,203 and 75 meters. Now, oh, that is definitely not right. Right? That's definitely not right. <clears throat> because, do you see what I did? I totally messed it up. I multiplied the blue rope times 15, and I should have multiplied the first one times 15. That's what I did wrong. There. I knew that was wrong. I could tell. I could just look at it and see it was wrong. Okay, there we go, 401, that's much better. 401 and 25 tenths, 25 hundredths. Okay, so I know what the red one is, the blue one, and the green one. If I add those all up, 401, 25, plus 80, 25, plus 26 with 75, I should get... Five hundred eight and twenty-five. Is that my dividend right here? It sure is. Oh, phew! Good. Made a few mistakes in there, but I got there in the end, right? So the question is, what is the length of the blue rope? The length of the blue rope is eighty and twenty point two five millimeters. Phew! Tricky one, but we got there. Okay. Still not so sure about number four. I almost want to go. Not number four. Uh, number. Three. I kind of want to go back and look at that one again. Let's just go back really quickly and see what the answer key says. Because I just don't, I don't believe that they would give you a, a decimal that keeps going. It's not like them. See? Hmm. 183.60. Let's see. Let's go back and look at that one. 183.60. Where did I make my mistake? They're saying I made it right here. Let me change color so I can write over what I did. Okay, 44.396. Yep. Then 3.60. Okay, right here. Here's where I made my mistake, right there. You see that? Which would actually leave me with 360, which would be 55. And that would have given me zero right there. I knew something was wrong. Two and 55 grams. Yep. Bad math. So all of this was wrong. Sometimes if you're not sure of something, you should go back and check. It is definitely okay to go back and check. Okay? There. There's my real answer right there. Good. All right. I'm glad I checked that. And I'm glad I didn't send you off with the wrong answer. This is not the answer. And that's it for today. So have a great day. And I will see you soon.